Hello everyone, and this is Carrie from Your Level Best, and today I'm going to show you a recipe that focuses on vitamin C. So you will be able to download a copy of this recipe from our website at yourlevelbest.net. So again, I'm using my trusty slow cooker um, and using ingredients that have a lot of vitamin C. And I just want to let you know, I actually had to make some adjustments to this recipe before showing it to you, um, just to give you a little insight on making sure that we're hitting all our macros. Um, Tony actually had asked me to up the carbs in this a little bit. So I made some changes to do that, um, but let me show you what we have here. First of all, I have a pot roast. This is a chuck roast that I have here in the uh, slow cooker. So I already have that in the slow cooker right now. And then I'll show you the ingredients in front of me. First off, I have some garlic. I have some dried fruit. This happens to be some dried cranberries and some dry raisins. Um, I have some pepper and salt, some lentils, and this adds fiber. This will also add carbohydrates and it will give body to the recipe. I also have a second protein source and this is tempeh. I wanted to add a little extra protein. I want to make sure there was enough protein in this dish, but beef is one of those ingredients that's a little bit higher calorie than the rest. So sometimes I have to supplement with a lower calorie protein to boost it if I need to do it without so many calories. And that's why I have the tempeh here. I also have some broccoli. This is very high in vitamin C. I have some red wine that I have here for some liquid. I have some potatoes, sweet potatoes, which also adds some carbohydrate as well as some vitamin A. And I also have some green pepper and red pepper and yellow bell pepper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add everything um, with the exception of the broccoli. And I don't have my onions sitting here in front of me, but I also have some frozen pearl onions that I'm gonna add later along with the broccoli because you don't wanna overcook this broccoli. Um, notice I also have um, some stem pieces. Again, I think I talked about this in the vitamin C recipe, but you want to make sure to add the stems because I think a lot of people waste those because they don't take a few minutes and just peel the outer woody layer off of the broccoli and then cut up the stems because they're just as tender as the florets. Okay, let's get started. So I've got my slow cooker here and I've already got my beef in the slow cooker. So I'm going to take my potatoes and put them right in. I'm also gonna take my bell peppers and add those in as well. I'm going to add in my lentils. Now, some people may say, okay, you're adding in lentils now. Um, yes, I'm adding them in now because what I wanna do with these is I want them to break down and they will give body to the dish. So I don't have to add any extra cornstarch and things like that. I will add my tempeh. And I will add my dried fruit. These will plump up while they're in here. And I'll break those up a little bit. I'm going to add my salt and pepper. And I will add my garlic. And finally, or over some red wine. Now you're probably thinking that's not a whole heck of a lot of liquid in here, but trust me, one of the things I know when I've made a lot of beef stews, which is, this is a simple beef stew. A lot of times um, the beef makes its own juices. So instead of adding a whole bunch of liquid, which sometimes can make this a little bit too full, I add a little bit of red wine. And red wine, don't worry, the alcohol will burn off. Um, the red wine gives it a little bit of flavor. It actually tastes really good with the beef as well as the sweet potatoes. Um, that's one of those combinations I really love. So I've got the liquid in here. The beef will do its own juices. And then what I'm gonna do is cover this. 
and I'm going to set this on low for the next eight hours and I'm going to let this cook down and I'm going to shred the beef after that and then I'll come back eight hours later and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And welcome back. It's been eight hours and what I've done now is I went and shredded the beef first. I also added the broccoli and the frozen onions to the stew and let them sit at least for about 15 minutes but until everything's heated through and the broccoli is cooked. So now the dish is done. It's been smelling amazing around this house. Like I said earlier, red wine and sweet potatoes. Oh, so good. And I did take a little bit of a nibble before I got back on camera with you guys. There's a little hint of sweetness from the um, dried fruit. There's a fruitiness, even though we're, we're not talking necessarily about the dried fruit, but there's also a little fruitiness and a little refreshing taste from the green, red, and yellow bell peppers. Um, there's also a, a nice um, earthy taste from the tempeh, and of course you've got the meatiness from the shredded beef. So let's take a look at this. Before I keep talking about it, it's making me very, very hungry, but this looks so good. So let me take the top here, and oh my gosh, this looks so, so, so good. Oh man, that looks really, really good. I can see the broccoli, and the lentils have cooked down quite a bit. Um, they're more of a paste. They've given a lot of bite to the sauce, so if you don't want to add too many more extra carbs or any extra calories, um, using a bean, like the lentils, will just cook down. You can use red lentils, you can use brown lentils like I did in this case, but they cook down and they give a nice body to the, to the stew. There's also some broken down um, potatoes. The potatoes are broken down, not all the way. There are some that haven't, some there that haven't, and they've released their starch. So it's actually quite thick and creamy. I did add a little bit of water just to give it a little bit more liquid, but it didn't need a whole heck of a lot, just to get it to, from being too thick. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take one of our bowls here, and I'm going to take a scoop of this and put it in the bowl. Ah yes, this looks absolutely amazing. You can see it's very thick. Um, it's got, you can see some of the lentils that didn't break down. You can see um, some of the broccoli and even a little bit of the dried fruit. Um, but you can see quite a bit here and this is, oh, I can't wait to actually eat this tonight for dinner. So as you can see, I've got my dinner bowls out and I've got my system here. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the leftovers in my plastic container so I can put them in the freezer for the rest of the week. And I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Please make this yourself. You can download the full recipe from yourlevelbest.net. It's actually within this blog post. In the blog post, I give you a little bit more information about the ingredients. So download the recipe. Please make this. And if you make it, please let us know. Either send us a photo or put a comment below. You can also follow us on Twitter at yourlevelbest. Um, and definitely look at the blog and send us pictures. Let us know what you think. Um, and please subscribe to the channel. Watch our videos. We've got plenty of videos that talk about cooking and talk about ingredients. So watch the whole series. So thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.